What's up guys? This is a quick tutorial video on how to set up your totem right out the box. Um, so there's going to be six things that you want to take out. Um, first one obviously being the disc. Second one being the power stick. Third being this battery right here. And fourth, the tripod legs. And fifth, you have the fan attachment. And sixth, you have the remote, which is probably one of my favorite pieces to use here. But uh, step one, you wanna take the fan attachment, make sure this is locked here. And the fan attachment, I like to usually just kind of twist it in. And there is a little wheel here that you can kind of just wheel in. And you want to get it to where it looks like this. Uh, with the USB on top like here and this attachment right here. And the reason why we have it like that is because if you kind of have it kind of like that, your image won't look... Um, straight or it might look upside down uh, step two is to twist the power stick onto the attachment uh, before we do that i actually like to kind of open this first latch up and tuck this wire underneath and close the latch but not all the way uh it, just to keep the wire in place so now um all i have to do is just simply just twist it right in just like that and just like that i'm pretty much almost done setting up the totem uh step three is i'm taking this out and plugging this right into the usb port right here uh you want to make sure you go in sideways um and when you take it out you want to make sure you don't pull it out this way you pull it out sideways as well uh, there we go. Just make sure everything's kind of parallel this way. And make sure um, every all these screws here are tightened. Um, usually over time, if you're walking around or you're kind of jumping up and down with the totem, uh, the screws will loosen up over time. So if you kind of see your totem kind of doing this weird spinning thing or maybe the disc going left and right going wobbly, it means you need to make sure you need to stop and make sure everything's re retightened everything. Uh, usually they will stay tightened for the most part, but maybe every hour you just want to make sure and stay safe because um, uh, these guys uh, at these raves, uh, they we do have a good number of um, cases where these guys have fallen and cracked. Uh, we actually even started including um, these covers to kind of help alleviate some of that damage. Uh, so yeah, make sure these guys stay tight uh, periodically. Very important. Uh, next step is the battery. Very simple, just twist it on just like that. And tripod legs. Kind of just twist it on just like that. It also comes with a wrench right here to tighten it as it will get loose over time. I usually just bring this with me just in case. Um, and then, bam, and usually how to hold it is you usually wanna hold it up here um, when you're using the totem. Um, if you hold it down here, you do risk, see, it, see that? You do risk the totem falling over because as you're going higher, um, there's a lot more wind up in the air uh, to where you could actually kind of just drop the totem. Uh, so it's best to hold it right here. Uh, next, to power on the totem. Uh, these batteries are kind of neat. You may have to do, um, I call it a double swipe. So one, two, and that's how you turn it on. Boom. And next, but not least, you have a remote. Uh, I only use left, right, or next, previous, and this is the one is the loop, just these, this first row right here. 
And also for the brightness level, I can lower it down by one if I want my battery to last a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, these this first row is the only but only buttons I need to use. All the other buttons would just kind of confuse the totem. Um, I would not would not recommend uh, touching the rest of the buttons. Um, for the battery, um, I usually uh, these batteries usually last about two to three hours. Um, you could make it last a little longer if you use graphics with a lot of bat black background or uh, lower your brightness. Um, but I do like to bring um, an extra battery pack around. Uh, probably a, a bigger one than this that's about like 30,000 milliamps. And that way I can charge uh, my hand grip batteries in between. Um, and another thing. The last thing I do want to point out is, um, or two more things, uh, with these legs, you could kind of let, you could let your totem just chill and hang out, um, but uh, these raves do get a little crazy with people just walking around everywhere. Um, so you always want to make sure you have a hand on the totem, even if it's on its tripod legs, because usually what happens is, you know, someone kind of knocks it over. Um, and then, there is a, uh, a an app on the phone to change the graphics, but um, you only want to use the app to upload your graphics and you know upload new designs. Um, but uh, you only and you only want to use the remote to change the graphics because if you always keep using your phone at the festival to change your graphics, you're just going to be using a lot more battery than needed. Um, and that's about it. I think I covered everything. Um, I'll see you guys out there. Let's have a good time.